G'day Scarefest fans, Glenn here from FakeShemp.net. I've got a fantastic film to show you from 1975 and this one is called In of the Damned. That title is one of my favourites of all time. It paints such a vivid picture in my mind of what this film might be, even before you see it. But I want to show you two posters uh, that paint two very different pictures for this film. The first one is the theatrical art. Check this out. It is classic Australian. It's a template that we used on so many movies in the 1970s. I love it. I think it paints a really awesome picture. It gives you an idea of what the film might be all about. But then have a look at this VHS artwork. And this one, this one is much more of a creep show kind of tone and texture. And well, it doesn't represent the film precisely, but it does give you a juicy little look into what the final act might be all about. I get really excited when I talk about In of the Damned. Of course, as I said, it's one of my favourite titles in cinema history, but it's also kind of groundbreaking, and it should be noted as being one of the earlier examples of the Western slash horror hybrid films. Very few of those existed at the time, particularly the Western genre and the slasher genre. In fact, the term slasher didn't even exist back then. So the film takes place in the southern areas of Australia in the late 1800s, not too far from where I live actually, and it is very much a western with its stagecoaches and its horseback and its pioneering themes. The story tells of a guest house or an inn, which is located deep in the wilderness and it offers shelter to people that are traveling through the area. People who visit the inn go missing, and a bounty hunter arrives to investigate the disappearances and suspected murders, and the place is run by a European husband and wife who kill just about everyone who visits. It's not the best policy to have. And they have a servant who travels outwards helping to spread mistruths about the inn to help them cover up their grisly habits. So as you may guess from the images you're looking at, Inn of the Damned might be a tough watch for some people. It is somewhat dated in the sense that its pacing is quite slow. The entire middle act meanders at a snail's pace, which I kind of enjoy because it's all for the sake of atmosphere and building suspense. The final act, however, brings the horror to the front and the audience is given a massive freak show of depravity. What's so striking about this film for me is that it was actually shot in 1973, later released in 75, which places this before the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and yet so many of the images, particularly around the dinner table, bear a striking resemblance to Toby Hooper's seminal classic. We're talking about corpses around the dinner table, and the depraved family who've become so accustomed to killing that it's become a vocation. And as the trailer might suggest, there is an abundance of nudity in this film, mostly female. In fact, there's some weird ancestral stuff going on as well, which, contextually speaking, is the hallmark of the era. During the 1970s, sexuality exploded in Australian cinema and the screens were dominated by full frontal nudity, both male and female. And in retrospect, we might look back at that as exploitation, but at the time, it was far more indicative of the sexual liberation movement. So yeah, In of the Dan will not be for everyone, but those who are more vested in cinema history and the Western genre will take away the most from this film. I think it's quite haunting, it's almost surreal, it uses the Australian wilderness to maximum effect, and it just deserves far more recognition than this. So there you are, In of the Damned. It's a film that takes a lot of patience, but I think people that are real cinephiles will get a hell of a lot out of this one. I certainly love it. As I said, it's full of atmosphere, it's kind of Hitchcockian in its tone, uh, it's slasher, it's western, it's gruesome, it's classic, and track it down. It is available on YouTube, I believe, in full. There should be DVDs floating around the world somewhere. I am sure you can Google it and find them. Um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do, and I'm going to catch you next week. Ciao.